So before we uh, bring the families up to unveil the names, uh, let's take a moment to take a look at this inappropriately called Wall of Honor. And so that means all who come, visiting, work, for generations will see the names of your loved ones upon the Wall of Honor. And I think the key word for us is obviously honor. And so I just want to once again offer our deepest condolences for your loss. We are now all one family. Your loved one was our family, which makes you our family. Um, and that we will honor, continue to honor uh, these heroes and our day-to-day -day activities, the way we try to, and I use the word try, to live our lives and for the commitment that we will continue to have. But as we walk by this every day, and I think it's at a perfect place inside the building, it is a constant reminder of this, what we have to live up to. It's a constant reminder for our deputies and staff teams as well, special deputies, of what they have chosen, the selfless service. You can't get on the elevator and go anywhere in this building unless you have to look at the wall. And I think that is strategically done so that we never, ever forget. And so we put the names up. It is more than just a name on the wall. It is basically now part of the DNA of this agency and will be forevermore.